hello there in this video i'm gonna show you how we can quickly provision fabric data flows gen 2 tables in excel for data modeling in power pivot basically provisioning of data implies exporting or ingesting data from one data source to another this allows us to analyze the data in the destination source using the built-in functions and functionalities so in this video i've got a data flow gen 2 and of course I've got these three tables the DIM customer the DIM product and of course the F transaction so basically it's going to be the fact table and then we have two dimension tables now I can easily go to Excel and open a blank power query and let me show you the trick so this is an Excel workbook with nothing ingested thus far so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the data tab of the ribbon and then under the get a transform data group i want to get data and i want to launch a blank power query editor so go ahead and click on launch power query editor and after that is launched i can go back to the data flow gen 2 and then copy the tables so i'm going to come to my browser and then i actually want to provision this tree table so i can select by holding down the shift key and i'm going to click on the f transaction table so we have the three tables the dim customer dim product and then the f transaction table selected so i can go on and right click on any one of them and then click on copy and that's the magic so i'm going to head over to excel and of course in the blank power query editor i can come to this space and right click and then i can see this amazing option that allows me to paste so go ahead and paste and in few seconds we have our tables provision in the power query editor which is super amazing and then we can go on and check it out so i can scroll and check the f transaction table and i want to get rid of this dim customer and the dim product so i'm going to hold down the shift key click on dim product right click and remove columns so i'm going to come to the dim product and i want to get rid of this f transaction right click and remove and then come to the dim customer i can scroll to the right and then right click on the f transaction column and remove so there we go so we have the three tables the two dimension tables and the one fact table so i can go on and close and load to so basically i want to analyze this data in the power pivot data mode in excel so i'm going to establish a connection only and then add this data to the data model and then click ok i can see the queries and connections tax pane and there we go we have all the three tables and i'm going to come to the data tab and click on this power pivot icon to launch the power pivot window alternatively because i've got the power pivot tab enabled i can click on this power pivot and then i can click on manage under the data model group so click on that and that's going to launch the power pivot window and which is amazing so i can see the three tables the dim customer dim product and the f transaction now basically i'm going to come to the diagram view to establish one to many relationship and then i'm going to write a few docs so this is going to be the f transaction fact table and i'm going to grab the product key and connect to the product key in the f transaction fact table and then i'm going to repeat the same thing for the dim customer so customer key the primary key and connect across to the customer key in the f transaction and that's lovely so i can add back to the data view and then under the f transaction i just want to write a simple three dax so we want to calculate the sales amount the total cost of goods sold and then the gross profits so in the measure grid i'm going to come to the formula but i'm going to call this one total sales and then colon equals so i'm going to use the sum x and for the table to iterate over that's going to be the f transaction table and then for the expression to be aggregated i'm going to give the sales amount column and then i can see the name of the table f transaction table and then in the square bracket the name of the column sales amount i'm going to close the bracket for the sum x and then go ahead and click ok and then i can apply the gb pound currency symbol and this 
calculate for us the total sales. So I'm going to come to the next cell in measure grid in the formula, but I'm going to call this one total cost of goods sold colon equals sum x. And then for the table F transaction comma, and then for the expression, the cost of goods sold colon close the bracket it's enter again i want to apply the gb pound currency symbol and finally we will calculate the gross profit which is going to be the total sales minus the total cost so in the formula bar gross profits okay and then colon equals and i'm going to call the total sales amount measure establish minus the total cost measure and then click enter and this is the gross profit again apply the gb pound currency formatting and then i can go ahead and click on create pivot table and then i'm going to choose the existing worksheet and then i'm fine in the cell a1 click ok and that's beautiful so i can see the pivot table place order and then the pivot table fields so I can go on and create a simple report. Let's say I want to see the product name by the total sales and then the total cost of goods sold and then I will calculate C, the gross profit. And there we go. So we have the product, total sales, total cost of goods sold and then the gross profit. And I can just tidy up this name. I can come to the design tab and then under the layout, I'm going to choose the report layout. And then I want to show in tabular form to unearth the descriptive name of the field in the row. So when I click on the show in tabular form, there we go. I can see the table name, which is product name. And this is basically how we can ingest or provision data from data flow gen 2 into excel for analysis in the data model i trust you enjoyed the video if you do like share with your friends and comment thank you for watching bye for now